We decided we wanted to get everybody insured. We've done that. I understand that the president considers his plan in some respects uh, uh, following the model of Massachusetts. Let's learn from our experience. Uh, in fact, uh, I agree with uh, Mitt Romney, who recently said he's proud of what he accomplished on health care. What kind of job is Ben Bernanke doing right now? The guy's depreciating the dollar. We're seeing this huge inflation of energy prices, including gasoline prices at the pump. What do you think of Ben Bernanke? Well, you know, I think Ben Bernanke is a, a, a student of, of monetary policy. Uh, he's doing a, a, as good a job as he, th he thinks he can do in the, in the Federal Reserve. But look, I'm not going to spend my time going after Ben Bernanke. I'm not going to take my, my effort and focus on the Federal Reserve. Uh, I think there is need for economic stimulus. I think was the right uh, action to take. I know, I know a lot of my fellow conservatives aren't happy with me that I, uh, I supported the, the plan. I don't call it a bailout, I call it a rescue plan. Can a man who essentially agrees with President Obama on all the key issues realistically become the Republican nominee for president? A nuclear Iran is not only a problem for Israel, it's a problem for America and it's a problem for the world. The regime is more isolated than ever before. In the Gulf, Iran prepares to close the Strait of Hormuz to hold hostage 20% of the world's oil. In their nuclear laboratories, they prepare the means to hold hostage the entire planet. These leaders are faced with crippling sanctions. And as long as they shirk their responsibilities, this pressure will not relent. I would make sure that their diplomats are rejected and, uh, uh, and, and uh, despised throughout the world. Um, I'd also make sure that, that, uh, that we have communicated our credible military options. Let there be no doubt, America is determined to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon, and I will take no options off the table to achieve that goal. While we were on a Christmas break, the President of the United States of America violated his oath to uphold the Constitution by signing into law a statute that purports to give him the authority to use the military to arrest Americans on American soil and to confine those arrested to a jail in Cuba away from judges, juries and lawyers for as long as the President wants. This directly violates the Constitution's guarantee of due process, which requires a jury trial before the government can take anyone's life, liberty or property. Many, including Congressman Paul, have called this unconstitutional. At the same time, the bill did provide money to continue funding U.S. troops. Governor Romney, as president, would you have signed the National Defense Act as written? Yes, I would have, and I do believe that it's appropriate. All Republican candidates for their party's nomination, except Ron Paul, support it. Let's talk about uh, Wall Street donations for President Obama. Uh, now. He has gotten, a, of course, a ton of money in the past. Uh, in fact, uh, Goldman Sachs was his top donor in uh, 2008. And, uh, you know, a lot of the donations this time around are going to Mitt Romney. Goldman Sachs is now the top uh, donor to Mitt Romney's campaign, so they've switched sides uh, entirely. Uh, but the question is, why are the bankers so angry at President Obama? Yes, he called them fat cats once, but has he done anything to do prosecutions, lower their pay, uh, keep them in check in any way, shape, or form. And uh, honestly, the answer is he's done almost nothing. So of course the banks are like, hey, you know what? Obama was fantastic to us, but this Mitt Ram Romney guy might be even better. Yes, we're in. Mitt Romney is obviously the choice of the Republican establishment. Those are the folks who brought us TARP and stimulus, wars fought on credit cards, federal agents raiding their own search warrants, and the federal government taking over education. Mitt Romney believes in all these things, but here's the crusher. So does President Obama. There's not a dime's worth of difference between them. Name the topic on which the president has a real say and they agree. Can the government mandate health care? Yes, from both. Should income taxes stay where they are on those who pay the most? Yes, from both. Can the president start a war on his own without a declaration of war from the Congress? Yes, from both. Can the president kill any American he wants? Incredibly, yes, from both. You know, in some, party, in some ways they say, well, why don't you give up and, and this will help the Republican Party. The truth is I'm trying to save the Republican Party from themselves because they want perpetual war. They, they don't care about presidents who assassinate American citizens. They don't care about searching our houses without search warrants. And these are the kind of things that people care about so, on the points, Ron Paul is only a million percent right. 
And if you're a real conservative, you would never be in favor of shredding the Constitution so that we execute American citizens abroad without a trial, without due process. Uh, you would never be in favor of warrantless searches. I mean, this is big government encroaching on your individual freedoms. He's 100% right that that is, should be the conservative position. He's also 100% right that that is not the current Republican position. He isn't worried about the Federal Reserve. He isn't worried about the foreign policy. And here again, you know, Ron Paul is uh, devastatingly right. He has so little in common with Mitt Romney. In fact, Mitt Romney and President Obama are much closer in their positions than Mitt Romney and Ron Paul. Because President Obama is in favor of the endless wars, generally speaking, now Romney is more in favor of them. He would have stayed in Iraq, he'd want to stay in Afghanistan a little longer than President Obama. But all the executive power they 100% agree on. Of course, the Constitution is irrelevant, execute anyone you like, you know, and uh, take away all the due process and the warrantless warrants, all that stuff Romney, Obama totally agree on. Give you credit for one thing. You because have to give they you credit for out in the open the now. They're out in the open now. They're not even trying to conceal it anymore. The owners of the country, have to, they bought their elect, got their election. They said, we're going to get this election. We put you people in that court for a reason. Right, now's back the time to, to earth pay us. for you and now. We, yeah, forget all that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> They're out in the open. There is they're, open no they're openly driving the bus, and we're all in the back. There's because of the energy policies need, that were created here in California, a, not as a result of a conspiracy, need, but You because. don't need a formal conspiracy right. when interests converge. These people went to the same universities oh, and please. fraternities. They're on the it's same board of directors. They're in the same country clubs. They have like interests. They yes. don't need to call a meeting. They know what's good for them, it's a and they're getting it. And there used there, to be this, seven oil companies. There are now three, it will soon be two. The things that matter in this country have been reduced in choice. There are two political parties. There are a handful of insurance companies. There are about six or seven information things. But if you want a bagel, there are 23 flavors because you have the illusion. You have the illusion of choice. Right. You don't get the real important choice. There's no freedom of choice. I'd like to ask you to just pass this message along to a friend. Thanks so much.